Hello, I want to show you the Tableau 10 Google Sheets connector. It's an incredible way to fully stitch the internet together. You can use recipes on IFT that are connected to your connected home, connected car, security or business channels. Save information to Google Sheets and then analyze it in Tableau in a matter of minutes, very, very quickly. The recipe I'm going to show you is from a Vera Smarter Home device. It's a sensor that checks when the door opens, the front door opens. And there's a simple recipe that sends an email from the Vera to IFT whenever the door's opened and that gets saved into a Google Sheet. We can now say, well, when do we open our door? Let's have a look. I'm going to go into Tableau and connect to Google Sheets. I've already typed in my credentials, so I'll allow Tableau to access to my Google Drive and then choose the front door sheet. It's that easy. This is the Google Sheet containing all the records of when the door was opened. That's it, I'm now connected. Let's go and start looking at the data. If the recipes, when they trigger a date, trigger the trigger the information and store the date as a long string like this. So the first thing we need to do is create a very quick calculated field to pass the date. That's very simple in Tableau. We do use the date pass field. Let's make it a bit bigger. And it's very simple. We can see there's a month followed by a day and a comma, followed by the year, four digits. Then the word at, which we put into a string, another space, hour, minutes, and AM, PM. Tableau thinks the syntax is okay, so let's click apply, and we now have a date field. Let's just put that on this table to see if we've got things right. April the 1st, 2015, 10 to 4, looks like that's good. Okay, so we're good to go. We have date and the number of openings. Let's change number of records to door openings. When do we open our door? Well, let's look at this at the week level and the number of openings. And you can see some patterns and some gaps, but it's when you get down to day that you see something really interesting. This is number of openings, number of times the door was opened uh, from January 2015 to July 2016. What pops out? This huge peak. The 31st of October 2015, the door was opened 60 times. Of course, that's Halloween. There are some other peaks as well. Uh, for example, on the 17th of April and the 29th of March 2016. So we can analyze that data in a little bit more detail. Let's call that openings by day. In fact, we can duplicate that and say, look at openings by hour of the day instead of continuous time by day. So let's look at hours of the day. You can see this peak, lots of oh, door gets opened a lot at seven in the morning and three in the afternoon. I'm guessing there are children going to and from school. Let's do that as a bar and maybe draw a button. Oh, a mark for each weekday. Call it openings by hour. Now we can bring those two together and do some analysis to see what happened on these peak days. Bring in openings by day, also openings by hour. But I'll make that dashboard fit on the screen. And uh, here are both our views. Let's use the day timeline is a filter to examine the days in a bit more detail. Now when I click on the 31st of October 2015, I can see what hours of the day the door was opened. And what jumps out is that the door was opened mostly between 4 and 7 or 8 o'clock in the afternoon and evening. That's trick or treat time. So this Google Sheets connector connected to the IFT recipe, connected to a smart home device, is revealing these patterns of daily life. 29th of March, people coming and going all day. It turns out 
this person's daughter's birthday was on that day and they had a, an afternoon party. Lots of people were coming and going all day. There are other things you can see, such as the gap. That was a period in which the, um, the owner of this device was trying to fix their internet, so they disabled the device for a while to see what was going on. And finally, there's this gap between the 10th of August and the 25th of August. A two-week gap, and on the 10th of August, they opened the door at three and f between 3 and 4 in the morning. They were actually going on their summer vacation and catching an early morning flight. So in just a matter of moments, we've connected to a Google Sheet, which is taking data from one of thousands of potential Internet of Things applications, and we're getting real analytics from that. Just imagine what else we could do with the other channels that are available on IFT. I think the limits of analysis you can do are as limited really by your imagination and any of the 328 different channels on IFT at the moment. We'd love to know what you discover using these recipes in the Google Sheets connector. Uh, do let us know.